Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified in physical medicine and rehabilitation. He teaches about the use of prolotherapy, PRP, and stem cells. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Hi, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. You look gorgeous today as usual. Thank you. Like my scarf, it used to be my mommy's. She bought it for me, actually. I love it. It's so nice. It fits you so well. Thank you. And how are you today? I'm good. Did you know I just wrote a book on reverse psychology? No, do tell. Do not read it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I'll I'll just knock that off my to-do list, and uh, (laughs) there we go. But speaking of books, speaking of books, if uh, if you're just joining us, especially if you're new to the program, you might want to know that if you call in today, you get Dr. Darrow's latest book for free. It's fabulous. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It actually has 264 scientific studies, and you can get it right now for free. You don't even pay postage. 866-870-5752 is our number right here in the studio, and you can get your free book right now when you call the program, 866-870-5752. Plus, the real bonus is you get a private little chat with Dr. Darrow about your musculoskeletal pain. So it's a win-win, right? Well, it's nice to win by healing, right? Yes. And, And what we're doing is we're actually healing the body by stimulating new tissue to grow using your platelets and your stem cells, if you want to do that. I like to do it on me. People go, how could you possibly inject yourself? Well, the answer is, how could I not? Yeah, right. (laughs) Because, I mean, I've been doing this work almost 25 years, and uh, it's worked on me every time. It worked on you, Nita. Yes. And remember, what's our friend over at your radio station, the other one? <clears throat> oh. KPFK that you have your show. Oh yeah, Terry, you know, he, Terry, Terry McNally. Terry. He's back on there, by the way. He's oh, on good. there. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. good show. He's got. We healed his knees. God, it must have been twenty plus years ago, and he had a football injury at Harvard, where he went to school. He's a very Harvardy kind of guy, very intelligent, and he was playing intramural football. Hurt his knee, and uh, voila, they took out his entire meniscus. That's what they used to do. So when I saw him, his femur, that's the leg, the, um, the thigh bone, wasn't even sitting straight on his tibia, the leg bone. <clears throat> it looked terrible. And actually, in, I have a book, uh, not the one you just mentioned, but I have another book that I wrote way, way, way back on what's called prolotherapy, which is injections of concentrated dextrose to stimulate an immune response and create inflammation and bring fibroblasts to the area. And uh, we did that on him several times. And he was able to go back, dance, and what else did he like to do? He liked to do yoga, and he liked to hike, and he was all fine. We have better treatments today from the old prolotherapy days. Still what we're doing, it's regenerative medicine is a newer term, but it's really still prolotherapy, meaning to proliferate new tissue growth. So we don't like to cut tissue out. I see patients, new patients every day who've had failed surgeries. That means the surgery that went bad doesn't mean the surgeon did it wrong. I love the surgeons. It's just that the surgeries don't always come out very well. I'd say it's a 50-50 chance. And a lot of people get their surgery and go, ha ha, doctor, dare I feel better. And then they come back to see me a year later and go, well, I guess it didn't work after all. So be very careful. Surgery is not conservative. It's very invasive. We see all kinds of terrible side effects like infections. I've had a few people die, one or two on the table. Uh, When I was doing orthopedic surgery, I don't do that anymore. That was in my training. And um, I went ahead to do a switch from orthopedics, orthopedic surgery to physical medicine and rehab, which I did a program in my residency at UCLA where I graduated. And uh, it's been amazing for my body. Need I know your neck healed. Absolutely. I wonder if Terry's listening to the show. Hi, Terry. Uh, But he's been doing great. And um, 
I see about 60 or more new patients a month. Most of them get better. Not everybody. The failures happen when people don't listen to me. Um, I've got to choose the right patient. Using regenerative medicine of platelets and stem cells will not work on everybody if you choose the wrong patient. You have to be a good candidate. How do I find out? I have to touch their bodies. I don't give a hoot about what the MRI, the X-ray, or the CT scan say unless I find something really weird like a broken bone or a cancer or something like that. But I examine with my hands and I move the patient around. And I get emails all day long from people saying, let me send you my x-rays, tell me if you can help me. I go, no, that won't tell me anything. There is a photograph that I keep in every room in my office where the patients come in of a fractured spine that's all crooked. And the reason I have it there is because it's one of my best buddies. And um, he had a bad accident doing ATV. Is that what it's called? ATV, all-terrain vehicle, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, fractured his back, and uh, today he's got no pain, zero. When people look at it, and I say, does this guy have pain? They go, oh my God, he must be terrible, he must be paralyzed. Nope, no pain. And I use that as an indication and a lesson that you don't look at your MRI or X-ray to decide if you have pain or not, or where the pain is coming from. We need to use our hands, docs. That's right, we need to touch the body. Almost everybody who's had a failed surgery who comes to me, I ask, have you had your doctor touch your body? And they go, no, the doctor did not even touch me. They just looked at the MRI and and operated. To me, that's not really smart because they're doing surgeries that don't need to be done. And I've had way too many people, way too many with failed surgeries. And um, We get them better afterwards because I find the pain generator using my hands. I touch. Well, speaking of using your hands, looks like you used your hands on Don in L.A. because he wants to give a testimonial. Should we talk to him? Why not? Hey, Don, Dr. Mark Darrow, what's your last name? Well, you shouldn't tell us. (laughs) What is it? Oh, Ward, I know you. Don Don, Don Ward. Mark, I was thinking... It's got to be, uh, well, it's over at least 45 years. That we've known each other. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We both, by the way, Don and I study with, with the same um, spiritual teacher. And oh, that's how we okay. met each yep. other. Yep. Yeah. So I guess we met in the mid, early 70s, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I started studying with John Roger in 1972 when oh, I met him. I was a mere child. You were mirror. hardly, you were just a glimmer in your father's eye. Mere glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, I, I how, when did, when did you... Mercy call, so you don't torture me either too much today. Oh, thank oh. you, John. I'm you're so welcome. grateful. You're welcome. And I figure the more convincing my testimonial is, the better, more of a kickback I'll get. <laughs> no kickbacks. <laughs> it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a federal law called Stark, S-T-A-R-K. <laughs> Well, we and were telling you about it. Doc, no, doctors are not allowed to give kickbacks. But, uh, but I'm not an MD. I can send him a box of C's candy That's or right. something. I can do yeah. that. Wait, right. wait. Don't talk about this on the radio. Okay. Um, <laughs> and anyway, Don, did I, did I work on your knees or something? I can't even remember. Yeah, my God, my it's knees. been so long. Okay, here's, here's a story. It can be long or short. Make like it short because we got a lot yeah. of people that want to talk. Oh, good. Cool. 2018, uh, I was in good shape. Jumped over a short wall on a project. Didn't think anything happened. The next day, my knee was real stiff. And then as the week progressed, it started clicking. And, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, this I can hardly walk. This is killing me. What the heck? And I thought, I wonder if this will lead to me having to get a knee replacement. And I can't believe I thought that. I've known you all these years. Well, that's what we hear yeah. about all the time. So that's what we think I about. I know. That's because it's the first thing that it's like, there's no way we're doing it. I'm going, Oh, duh. Let me give, give Mark a call. I texted you or something. I went in. Don, let me tell you something really funny. Yeah. Years and years ago, I mean, I've been doing this work um, since right. since my residence at UCLA. And there was right. a time when I had sciatica, when I was working yeah. at Rancho Los Amigos Hospital with all the paralyzed guys, you know, from uh-huh. brain trauma and spinal cord injuries. And my yeah. leg pain was so bad, I had to hold on to the wall and limp into each patient's room. 
I never said a word to anybody because I'm pretty tough. And I was thinking, I was thinking, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to get surgery, even though I was telling everybody not to get surgery. But I was in so miserable pain. I was having those negative thoughts, too. Well, guess what? I injected my own back. And the pain went away down my leg. Voila. Yep. Now, usually I can't get to my, you know, certain spots in my neck or back. So I have other people do it. But this was a you spot I was. Do your back? Yeah. Well, I've done I've done both my knees. You probably know my story. I've injected both mm-hmm. knees. I've injected mm-hmm. what else? My elbows, my shoulders, and um, other things like I had broken ribs on my on my back. You know, my lower back, uh, where the, the like the twelfth rib is and up. Those were fractured when I fell down the stairs. I had one of my staff inject me there. Everything has gotten better. I'm very lucky that this work is something that it I... Works. Ex- and it works. Well, yeah. And when you started doing it back with uh, the dextrose, the original prolotherapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, anyway, it's morphed, so it's morphed you... since then. It's, it's much more powerful yeah. now. Oh, now we have oh, platelets, yeah. which not only do the same thing that the dextrose did, which creates some inflammation, but the platelets right. have growth factors in them. And then now we have stem cells that actually supposedly anyway grow colonies of new tissue on their own. So we mix up the platelets and the stem cells so we get the best uh-huh. of all worlds. Yep. So what happened? You're, how many times did well, I have so to then, inject your knee? So, well, okay, so, so the knee was like, you know, really hurting. I'm limping and it's clicking. And it's like, oh, this is crap. And it was like, duh. So I texted you, went into the office. They drew blood. And then um, you injected me with the using that ultrasound so you could see where you're going. Right. I think you had about 10 or 12 injections around my knee. And I walked out. I mean, you know, it wasn't painful or anything. And I walked out, and maybe it was a little stiff. About three or four days later, I'm out in my garden, and I'm talking to my brother on the phone, and I'm pacing back and forth in my garden. And I'm telling him, oh, yeah, I went to see Mark, and I got injected and everything. And I go, I stopped in my tracks, and I'm going, wait. I bent down on my knees and squatted, got up, and I go, the pain's gone. It's gone. Yeah, I know. I've had the same experience with my knees. I yeah. know. It's been, it's been yeah. absolutely amazing. And by the way, yeah. what, what I probably did with you, because I had to do this with me, was yeah. I probably injected into the joint capsule. You know, I use an ultrasound so I can see where yeah. the needle is going. And by the way, right. folks listening, don't ever get a knee shot or a shoulder shot or a hip shot without an ultrasound because the doctor doesn't know where that solution is going. He's guessing. And the studies show that we miss the joint if we do blind injections. You don't want to do that. And um, it's real easy to do ultrasound. They're expensive to buy. I've got three of them in the office. So we just roll them around from room to room. It's fast. I mean, after you spin the blood... It's fast. Injections are fast. So anyway. But the, the other thing I wanted to tell you, if, you're, if your patella yeah. was clicking, your knee was clicking, yeah. that means that the patella was out of its track in the femur. Yeah. And that's the mm-hmm. trochlear groove in the femur. And I had that happen. I tell, I tell the story every once in a while how Dakota, my 85-pound husky, was running yeah. full speed and hit me on the side of my knee at the dog park. And that was happening to me. My, my patella was loose. And I, it would yeah. catch all the time. And then I, w- I did what I call the ring of fire. I made this up. I never saw it. I just intuited it, which is what I've done with most of this work. I've just practiced on me, experimented. So I, I do injections all around the kneecap. And that uh-huh. regrows what's called the retinaculum. It's like a glove that fits on top of the patella that holds it down into the trochlear groove. So I did that to myself one time. And that's probably what I did with you. I can't remember because I yeah. do so many yeah. knees. And my knee oh, just tightened up, and the pain was gone, the clicking was gone. It was like a miracle. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, I refer a lot of people to you. but I know you do, and I you. love you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, well, because it works. I want to see people get well, just like you. So I went back for a follow-up visit about three or four weeks later, and you go, okay, so what's the matter? What's hurting? you I told you, I said, I'm not, I'm fine. My knee doesn't hurt. And you go, what are you doing here? I said, I thought I was to come for a follow-up. You said, only come back when you, when you have pain or you need something. It's like, oh, okay. Well, we usually have later. people follow up about two weeks after injections. 
And yeah. by then we can usually tell if a person is yeah. better or not. Now the standard yeah. in the industry, if we could say there is such a thing, is mm -hmm. most doctors who don't do a lot of this will wait for weeks and weeks or months to check a patient to see if all the tissue is grown and if they're better. And I think that's foolish. I'm just putting it mm -hmm. out there. Because sure. when I hurt myself, I do it sometimes three, four times a week to get the most cells in there and get it healed the quickest. Why am I going to mm -hmm. wait a few months? Yeah. You know, then the healing hopes, is going to... And hopes it'll get better. Yeah, there's just no point. But that's my technique. Everybody does this on their own, their own way. I don't put any other doctor down. I just think that if you want to get healed quickly, you do the injections quickly, close together. And um, I've had many people who fly in from out of the country or different parts, different states, different parts of the country. And if they're just here for a few days, and a lot of people come here to vacation. You know, it's so beautiful. Sure. But um, I will inject them each day. You know, just come, keep pumping in the cells and rebuilding that tissue, keeping the inflammation going. Inflammation is actually a good thing. When people are mm -hmm. sore from inflammation, it's the body trying to heal itself. That's God's way of doing natural healing. <clears throat> Unfortunately, many injuries don't get enough inflammation to create enough sequestering of what's called the fibroblast or the cells that come to the area that actually spit out and grow new collagen and cartilage. So when we do these procedures, they actually create a short burst of inflammation. So after I inject myself, I'm usually stiff for about a day or so, about 24 hours. Right. Uh, it's not anything terrible. It just feels like I worked no, out hard. No, it's not even that stiff. It's, no. I mean, you can feel it. But it's not like it's immobilizing or anything no. like that. There was one time I did my uh, elbow, my left elbow, and uh, I used sodium moruate, which is a very strong proliferant. And as soon as the needle touched the skin, it burned. And that burned for two weeks. I haven't used it since. Yeah. And my arm was locked up in a, like a 90 degree <laughs> angle. And I was terrified because I didn't know who to call to find out. You know, it was back in the day when very few people were doing this. And I just waited it out. And two weeks later, my arm loosened up. I awakened one morning and the, quote, tennis elbow was gone. And it's been gone ever since. It's got to be, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago I did that. More, maybe. Um, wow. So, yeah, wow. I've done a lot of experimenting on my body. And that's, that's how I practice medicine. I do a lot of um, natural medicine. But before I have anybody do anything, I always check it out on my body. So everything, mm -hmm. everything that I give to other people, I check out on me first. Well, you you are intuitive, but I think that's the spirit's way of guiding you to the uh, to the best route and the best methods of. I think so. Others. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. I, I yeah. you know I've been trained in traditional medicine, um, mm -hmm. you know one of the best institutions, UCLA. But um, most of what I do in medicine is it, it really intuitive. It's things that I just experiment with. I'll read about something and I'll try it out on me and see if it works. If it does then I will approach my patients and say, I tried this on me at work. Do you want to do it? And there's tons it's and higher, tons of things. That, I hope. Uh, yeah. I think I'm a dummy, hey, so but there's anybody something. Anybody listening there. now, uh, and you have anything that, that's causing you pain or anything, call and set an appointment. It works. That's what and I'm the phone number is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. You can call me right now at the studio. I love people to call. We'll take good care of you like we are with Don. And Don, God bless you. And thank you so yep. much for your call and thank your experience. Because you, that love really you. helps other people understand uh, what these procedures of regenerative medicine are, how simple it is. You walk in the office, you get an injection with your own cells that we take from your body, and uh, you walk out. You don't need anyone to drive you. It is so easy. It's so simple. Um, it's something that uh, a lot of people, a lot of my patients who have had these healings tell their friends about, and the friends go, well, I have an orthopedic surgeon who says it doesn't work. Well, that's because that doctor doesn't do it. So from my point of view and from my experience, surgery doesn't work, okay? So there's different schools of medicine. I don't know if any is better than the other. It's just whatever we get in the rut of doing, we think is the best. 
And I like conservative medicine. Uh, the third cause of death in our country is iatrogenic. That means that the doctor created it. It's infections in hospitals. We pick up special infections like Pseudomonas in hospitals where it grows. You can, hard to get anywhere else. Um, medicine can kill people. Combinations of medicines can hurt people. When I was a uh, resident at Cedar sinai Hospital, a patient had a stroke because they were given more than one medicine and there was an interaction of blood thinning that the doctor didn't even know about. Um, surgeries, my God, there's so many terrible side effects that I see from surgeries um, that I don't ever want to have one. I hope I don't want to, I hope I don't have to. I had my shoulder operated in med school and it turned out as an abomination, absolutely terrible. I loved my friend who was the surgeon, he was my professor, but it came out bad and I don't blame him. I never blamed him for it. It's just what happened. And uh, if you're going to do anything in medicine, do the most conservative, natural thing you can. That's the greatest advice I can give to anybody. I tell my patients, uh, and I had I told someone this the other day. It was very funny. I said, you know, I tell people, and I'm going to tell you, the healthiest thing to do is stay away from doctors totally. And the guy stood up laughing. He goes, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. He sat back down. But... Um, you got to, you know, you got to find out the right doctor for you and a guy who is open-minded to what you want. And um, I think the most important thing to know is that most surgeries on the, on the skeletal system, the musculoskeletal system that are done <clears throat> are what we call elective. Now, elective means that you, the patient, gets to elect whether or not you want to do it. It doesn't mean the doctor tells you you have to do it. If it's elective, that means you don't need it. You want it maybe because you have pain. But if you have pain, you know, in your joints, ligaments, tendons, anywhere from the head all the way down the neck and the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists and the fingers and the hips, um, even muscle tears, uh, the knees and the ankles and the toes, think about doing regenerative medicine first. It's very, very conservative. Uh, there's very little in the way of side effects because uh, basically the only thing that happens, mostly people just get a little bit stiff afterwards. Some people don't even get that. The people that fail are mainly people that stay very active and don't listen to me. They cheat on me. I tell them, let the tissue grow. Stop weightlifting. Stop um, whatever it is, swimming. A lot of swimmers have shoulder injuries, rotator cuff tears. Give it a frickin' break. You know, let it heal. A lot of people will take um, anti-inflammatory medicines. We need the inflammation. you got to stop your NSAIDs, like ibuprofen. Um, another big cause <clears throat> of the failure is not enough treatment. Don't come in expecting one treatment is going to, you know, wave a magic wand on you and have you fly to heaven. It doesn't work like that. You've got to grow enough tissue. It may take a few treatments. Um, another reason for failure is not using an ultrasound to look and see where that needle is going. The studies show if you don't use an ultrasound, you can miss that joint at least a third of the time. So the injection that doctor did, did nothing. It went to the wrong place. And then we have this new thing coming up where we get, I'm going to call it bad doctors, where the doctors don't have any experience. Um, very often chiropractors will herd in their patients to get stem cells or platelets with a doctor who doesn't know what they are doing. If you're going to get regenerative medicine, go to somebody who does it all day, every day. There's a few of us out there that do that. If you don't like me, I can refer you to someone else. But there's a handful of doctors in L.A. that do this full time. The others are just, um, I was going to call it wannabes, but it's not even that. It's just guys who hang their shingle saying they do it, but they don't do very much of it. And I would say stay away from them. You're not going to get a good deal with them. So Nita, I'm going to give out the phone number one more time so we can get some callers. It's 866-870-5752. And if you want to catch me at the office or get more information that we didn't talk about today on the show, the phone number to my office is 800 300 9300. I'll repeat it to you 800 300 9300. 
Oops, the break. I'm going to give out the website so you can watch me doing the procedures and videos. www.lastemcells.com. You can email me there from every page. Sounds good. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. 